Hi everyone, um, I'm just bringing this journal to show you. I'm um, sorry for the loud music, but we've got continuous barking dogs next door and they drive you absolutely bloody stupid because they bark day and night and I'd rather hear music than dogs bark. Um, this is a kit kitchen companion I've made. Um, chipboard, book paper, little owl. This here is a little tea clip, so I'll take that off while I show you. Lace. The back it's a Tim Holtz worn worn cover so um, once again I love this style of book because you can pull it apart um, and move things around so I hate to tell you but I've actually pulled an old-fashioned green and gold cookbook apart to make this a friend of mine beautifully sent me some old ephemera um, and so I've got all the old recipes and these lemon cordial, that's the recipe in there. And this is her mum's, her mum's have written this down. So it's a lot um, on the back as well. The old sticky tape where they stuck it in the book, the green and gold. So I'll go through it. Um, it's actually a beautiful book I've made, I think, this one. Um, apple pie, it's a tag. Now on here, this is, we've got carrots tags farm fresh and summer so you could write some summer recipes and here on the first page is a recipe dear buttercup so um, what it dear buttercup it tells you about oh, bits and pieces don't know what but something so that's clipped onto there I've done some of these things um, some are backed with actual uh, washi because the clips the staples I don't want to hurt people's fingers so then we come in with a beautiful bird now this is a book I've pulled apart it's got spicy banana it's got recipes and love quotes and friendship quotes on it and then on the back of that we've got a recipe card Victor Rene sardines and peas, carrots, tomatoes and lettuce. That's what Courtney used to call them, carrots. So that's all on that side. This feather I just put there because I could. It's an old-fashioned sewing machine. Uh, we've got some potato soup recipe on the back. And once again, that's an original recipe from 1979, I think, with the writing on it. Um, we've got some throughout there you've got these recipe from the kitchen of and recipe your cooking time temp and serve so they're, they're cards to make your own um, recipe cards if you desire where thou art that is home so it's more of a kitchen home tip book now tip is in not tip is in dump tip is in tips to follow the old ladybird books I've put a couple of pages together the kids in the kitchen cooking brings back memories old vintage ones of old-fashioned cooking this lady here is got um, advertising sheets for your bed and then again I've got <laughs> let's eat cake some more recipes happy helper so you could put you know tips about anything on a kitchen um, Anderson's dairy half and half pasteurized home dryers so I'm tipping that come off of butter or milk drink here's a piece um, herbed lamb leg of lamb and all the instructions this is a little folder I've made so it actually like I said I love this idea comes out opens up we've got the old television and radio adverts and gold packed mixed fruit which I used to see my mum make fruit cakes with um, marmite which I love and Fisher's flavoring extracts do not use cheap and inferior extracts <laughs> so you can write on the back of them or you could add them to recipes or whatever you want to do put your own in and then it, um, if you put them back nicely they fold up and go straight back in your book um, another cheese in the recipes here we've got um, ravioli stuffed with spinach and ricotta so that's a modern so there's modern and vintage we've got some more recipe cards here is um, yep you got it baking paper and I've actually put it in the oven so it's gone crispy 
We've got special desserts, potato Suzette, and these have come out of that 1960 magazine. Here's another one with layered tomato bake, one pound tomatoes. Deviled almonds, you can see from the sticky that I've taken them straight out of the book. Here's um, Home Where the Heart Is and Hot Apple Cider. And this is a picture of an old fashioned children's vintage book. And I've opened it up and I have another handmade recipe. Um, but, oh, bless me. Um, 1923 this is gold this is about gold and green recipe book don't know what happened in the kitchen just then so here we have some greaseproof paper this is um, crinkly cut cut crinkly curly or straight it's all about the fries here this is an original I've just had to stick some of it down about mothballs make fun amusement and it's just gone up so well, God knows what it is, but yeah, so there's a little thing you can read and you, there's writing space. Um, there's a recipe on the back just to sturdy it up. Ah, this is what's come off. That's come off. Oh, that goes under the thing. Ah, look, here we go. Original golden crust, self-raising flour. So that's from the 1929, I think green and gold magazine that's why that's come off that's supposed to go in there so that's once again an original book page another recipe card Graham Kerr's non-skid mixing bowls and here we've got a little bread shop oh look at this one this is the feeding the dog in the kitchen the cat you are my sweet pea sprinkle with love then we've got carrots, peas, tomatoes, lettuce and carrots again. So they can be written on or used as bookmarks. Here's a receipt. I'm tipping they would have got that for something. An old original receipt. Oh, here's mum making the pie. These where these things come from. A token of friendship. So that's the book pages that I've put in another thing we've got some oh this is from an original book you can see the actual staining age spots, age spots on it from that's an original cookbook and a bit more baking paper and we've got a bit of the old oh, gingham i think it is so it's like a apple pie without some cheese is like a kiss without a squeeze and once again we've got mushroom and tater pie it's an original recipe prawn and cashew stir fry Right, we've got an envelope here. In the envelope. We've got some original adverts of Scotch hand towel and how to put it up. The old original. And look at that. Can the shape of Mrs. Filbert's margarines be improved? So these are old. I don't know how old and I don't know where they come from. I found them in a, the magazines that my friend gave me old ones. So they go in. No, they don't. They're going to fold. Do they fold? I don't know. Hang on. Yep. Now on this side, we've got an instant dressing from the back of a carnation. Old carnation box another scallop potatoes this paper is that old it's gone brown as well we've got another chocolate mocha pudding recipe like i said these are all old look here we go these are from the green and gold book welsh rabbit red rabbit rabbit deviled almonds bengal savory and they oh they smell old so there's three pages of those in here in a vellum pocket with a little shaker recipe card yes that is paper towel your friendly paper towel from the kitchen and there's another original brown soup clear soup lentil soup oxtail soup recipe another one of these folders but this is a retro home is where the heart is 
and these have the retro remember you are fabulous and life is a bowl of cherries so they're the retro part of this book kitchen clothes until help arrives best choice chef specials so they're just um, journaling cards with that old old vintage journaling paper another tag another part of this book patty's delicious dip Um, oops, hang on, we're getting a bit chunky. For Mother, that's another one of those book pages. The kids eating lunch. Some more gingham. Oh, the lady sitting down having a cup of espresso, which is a postcard. We've got grilled prawns and sausage. And in here, we've got some more tags. That's canvas pocket. And this is another old, old recipe. The Woman's Weekly Sugar Coated Peanuts. This is 1977. So that's in the back pocket in case anybody wants to have a look. And like I said, I've just put this little chunky thing on the top. Um, and that's all throughout. So it would be an excellent present for someone um, for Christmas or whatever. But it will probably be going up in the Etsy shop. So um, I hope you like it. I'll be doing a few more of these actually. So um, yeah. Okay, everyone have fun and create. Bye.